What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you my Nova mods for online on the iPod. First you'll notice, <laughs> sorry, it looks like Halo themed. Uh, I just, it's just part of the thing. And it has a little Halo opening video here. Kind of cool. And of course the Halo theme menu. Now I'm going to go online, multiplayer, online, I just got to log in. Okay, and now I'll do deathmatch because it's the only game mode they have, and I'll join a game. And ready up. And now this has an aim bot. So I'll show you right now. I'm just holding this one button and it does a little aim bot style for me. And it shoots really fast. You can jump really high. Uh, also, if you guys are hearing like the reload and shotgun noises it does like halo noises and you if you heard that it does a noise like that the guy left the game um, yeah so it's a pretty cool mod uh, it's very simple to do all you need is this little modded IPA file if you know how to install them that's great if you don't I'm not gonna show you how I'm not even sure if I'll be able to give you the file probably not I have no idea where I got it from, and I don't feel like uploading it online. But, um, yeah, you could just Google search. There's tons and tons of mods for it. Uh, you do need a jailbroken iDevice to do this, but it is very cool. Uh, it's just kind of fun. I was in a game for like 20 minutes, just people would join in, and I would just stand on the top of the aimbot and just kept spraying people. And it's like, pinpoint accuracy and they die instantly so I ended up having like 120 and 0 and it was just funny um, now iPod games and iPhone games are very easy to hack uh, this is one of those ones that's not like something you could just do on your device you need to obviously get some external files but uh, there's other games that you could easily just do on your device. Um, I highly recommend you get iFile. It's uh, Insidia. I believe it's a paid app now. It used to be free, but um, I think it's paid now. And you could just edit the files on your iPod on your iPod. So like, you gotta edit all the files in your files system on your apps and everything directly on your iPod. I'll show you right here view all my applications just highlighted it it's like right here and a lot of them you could simply edit uh, like high score lists or save files and like they have spe specific things marked to like add money uh, I don't know like cut the rope I was able to add three stars to every level and stuff like that uh, but other ones you need like actual hacking tools so for that, I go to Cydia. Uh, I added a few sources, but one I found more useful than any. I just added it uh, yesterday. It is Cydia.iPhone.org.hk. Uh, sorry, slash apt. Uh, I'll show you. If you don't know how to add a source, go to Manage, Sources, hit Edit, then hit Add, and then I'll, it's very long. It's right here. I hope you guys can read this. That one on the very top. Cydia.iPhone.org.hk/apt. Now they have patches for like every game. Well, not every game, but a lot of the popular ones. Uh, they have Ancient Tribe, Battlefield, Cartoon Wars 1 and 2, 
uh, Coin Dozer. You know, it's free app. Well, they have a thing so you can get 999 coins without paying, which is kind of cool. Uh, Dungeon Hunter 2. I actually use this one for the gold. And there's those stats. That one never worked for me, though. I don't know. Uh, Elemental Monster. Field Runners. Uh, Fishing Kings. Gangstar. Inosha 3. Legend of Fenor. Need for Speed, uh, and Need for Speed Shift, Plants vs. Zombies, Sims 3, Start, Defense, uh, Sims 3 Ambition, Sims 3 World, Touch Fighter 2, oh, sorry, that's actually a weird demo thing, uh, Xenonia, and that's it. Now they do have a bunch of pretty cool patches, but none of that really that recent. So I added another one. iCheats.org And that's actually the whole source. iCheats.org um, They have Alive Forever, Fruit Ninja, and Nanosaur. But I kind of added it more for their website. If you go to i iCheats.org, it's actually a really good modding website for that. Uh, then I have this other one, cydia.myrepospace.com slash, I'm not sure what this is supposed to spell out, but the guy spells his name S-T-R-Y-K-3-R-R-3-A-L. It's like strike, striker real, I guess. Well, it's like the weirdest thing ever. He has an Angry Birds patch, which is really cool. Doodle Jump. Infinity Blade, which is actually the one I used. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Touch. Pandora, uh, which actually uh, kills the skip limit, which is actually very, very good if you use that. Uh, and <laughs> he threw that raping everyone ringtone, which is kind of funny. And that is pretty much it for my cheating repos. I just use those three. I'll probably end up putting them in the description for you guys. Um, like I said though, iCheats.org, as far as a website, is a pretty good website. They have a lot of mods. I downloaded pre-patched versions of games um, to use, which is pretty cool. Uh, some, like I said though, you could just do on your own. Like I did uh, Zombieville on my own. I did, I don't know, Doodle Jump, I modded my high score, Paper Toss, yeah, they're very simple to mod. Um, I, I'll show you right here. If you go to iFile, like I recommend you get, or if you just want to SSH your iPod and go through the files that way, you can do that too. I just find it easier to do it like this. Let's go to, I don't know, let's go to Doodle Jump. And normally it's in uh, library or documents or something. You'll find the file. You just gotta find that certain file of like the high scores and such. And here's this one. It's normally a plist file. So I just found this one. And you can see right here, like they write the, like the things right here. They wrote like. Uh, how many monsters I've killed, how many times I've jumped, and you just keep scrolling through until you find the thing you're looking for, like the total score and the high score. Yeah, just like that, I can edit my high score right there, and then just hit save, and that's it. That's simple. Like, they have so many like that where you just edit a simple number, like iCopter, that one's simple too. And like I said, guys, very easy to mod pretty much anything. Um, if you guys want me to do a specific video on how to mod certain things, because some are a little more difficult, I could do that. Um, I guess just leave a comment in the description of which one you want, or send me a message. Uh, if you found this video helpful, I guess, rate it up. I don't know. I really don't care. I kind of just do this for fun. Anyway, I'll uh, see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video.